Yeah. It was just last year. You told me yesterday that your mom picked out your suit for you, um, and then obviously uh, she was there with you tonight, walking the red carpet, and then when you got the call, uh, what does she mean to you, and, and you know, what does it mean to have her in that moment and you celebrate with her? She means a lot. You know, she's my mom, look, right? everybody in the crowd right here loves her mom. You know, you know just growing up with her and through thick and thin, she uh, found a way to uh, give me food, a place to live, and all that. And I was just trying to pay her back. Jason, so, what's your conversation with the, uh, the team before you got you to back up? Philly? Right. Yeah, my phone, I ain't gonna lie, my phone was kind of messing up. It was loud and the service was kind of bad. So like, all I heard was, Are you ready to be an eagle? And I said, Hell yeah. How <laughs> did you want to be more united? We're going to Did you have a conversation with them? Uh, no, sir. So it's the Philadelphia Bulldogs, my man. I mean, we got a lot of guys out there. How does it feel to be right back with your brothers on this defense? And not just that, how long did you maybe know? that the Eagles were going to um, pull this off because you did kind of say uh, the other day that they might be the falling spot. So uh, how does it feel to be back with your brothers and, and how long did you know you're going to be an Eagle? Yeah, it feels good to be back with my brothers. You know, I got a strong connection with both the guys that's there at Philly. You know, I love the guys. And, you know, it feels good to be back with them. You know, what's it, oh, my brother, what's it and uh, how long maybe did you know that the Eagles were probably going to be this team? I know you guys talked a lot. Yeah. In the off season. yeah, I didn't know for sure, but I had a good feeling. I was just on the 30 visit and um, just having a good Hey, Jay, what do you have to say to all of the teams to let you fall? What do you have to say to all the teams to let you fall in the draft? Which? I ain't got nothing to say. Man. I'm just happy to be on the Philadelphia Eagles, and it's time to work. Hey, Jay, hey, Jay, you know, the Eagles had one of the best defensive lines last year. Now they add a player of your caliber. Uh, what can you add to, you know, maybe even take this defensive line to the next level? Uh, you no, know, you could throw me anywhere on the field. You know, I could make a play. And I think that's one thing that uh, I add to the team, you know, I play any position. And, I'm just here to work. Hey, what's the next announced to you during the pre-draft process about the Eagles organization? Uh, just the, the bond they have, the connection, the head coach, he's a very cool guy, funny guy. And, you know, even though uh, it's football and everything, always serious, they know how to have a look. Jalen, speaking of having fun, you and Roger Goodell had an amazing moment with a handshake. How did that come to be? Oh yeah, I had talked to him before, and I was like, man, I'm trying to do a little handshake with you. And I don't want to jump on you, not, but I'm going to do a little <laughs> handshake. And you know, he agreed, and he, you know, we did it, and it was a little fun moment. Mr. Carter, if you had a magic wand, Mr. Carter, if I may. With the Philadelphia Eagles, Jerome Brown, and Steve Brown, 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 and Reggie White, do you had Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham, and now you and Jordan Davis with that Georgia connection. What does, how does that feel to be a part of that legacy and possibly continue that on with the dominance of the that the Eagles have had on defense? Uh, I feel good, you know, and I, I'm just ready to play. You know, it's been a long time since I had thrown some shoulder pads or just talk about football. You know, I'm ready to play with them guys.